Oh, the whole claw came out in one big chunk. Our next elf camping adventure takes us to Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada to eat like a king at the Lobster Trap. We order almost every appetizer the menu has to offer. Your shrimp cocktail, escargot, garlic shrimp, plus a huge seafood pasta entree. After we eat like a king in our minivan camper, we head to the Tickle Toad Pub and Grill to watch the Buffalo Bills play the Miami Dolphins and listen to some awesome live music. Then we set up the stealth camper to get some well-needed shut-eye. If this van life stealth camping adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. All right, guys, made it to Woodbridge, and there's the lobster trap. We are going to be stealth camping in this parking lot tonight, eating like a king. We've got to find a parking spot first. This looks good right in the snowbank. So it's the Saturday before Christmas and the Bills are playing the Miami Dolphins and I wanted to eat like a king in the van, do a stealth camp, make an entertaining video for you guys to watch. So again, I went on the uh, website and I, I kind of marked off a bunch of things I want to try. I want to try their fresh steamed mussels, the shrimp cocktail, the escargot, the garlic shrimp, the lobster bisque, pretty much all the appetizers on there, and then the uh, garlic bread four piece. And then either I'll order it at the same time, which is the seafood pasta, and we'll see if we can eat all that food. And then we'll jump in the back uh, and watch the Bills play and uh, have a good time on this Saturday evening. It's uh, overcast, it's about zero degrees Celsius, uh, which is about, uh, well, the Siri told me it was minus four with the wind chill. So uh, all that food is going to keep me nice and warm. But uh, tonight, I think it's going to go down to minus eight. I'm not sure what the wind chill will be until until that happens. So let's go in there, say hi to Jay, and uh, pick up some food. Hello. How are you? All right, is Jay here? Thanks. Ah, oh, looks great. Got all the tables all set up. Got the fire going up there. Jay, yes. how are you, Hi, sir? Buddy. How are you doing? All right. Doing? Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm going to do a video called Eat Like a King in My Minivan Camper. You got it. And uh, I want to order like a bunch of your appetizers yeah. and your, uh, your seafood pasta. Yeah, I'm gonna order all that stuff up. But how are things? Good, great. Can't complain. Christmas is around the corner. Um, we're looking for everybody to come here and enjoy their, you know, their get together, celebrating everything. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been a rough COVID couple of years. Yeah, yeah, it's been rough. I'm glad you made it, dude. I'm so glad you made it. Uh, if it wasn't for all the support and all the people around us, the lots of trap supporters, I mean, that's what we thank our, thank everybody, the supporters. And, uh, our people uh, is what we keep on, you know, keep us alive. Yeah. You know, this, uh, you know how this industry has been tough. Yeah, it's been very uh, tough. It's been around since 1964. Wow. Uh, we've been given the, the, the best of the best. So, so parents owned it before you or? No, no, no. It's been owned, owned by a lot of people. Oh, okay. So, so the lobster been trap's been. Down. Oh, okay. And, uh, and we just keep on giving, uh, you know, continuing the tradition on. Because I'm like, you're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 73. Yeah, that's you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, look through the menu here, buddy, and, and I'll show you what I had some ideas. All right, so I definitely, the things I, I know I can eat in my car easily, uh, your shrimp cocktail, you got it. escargot, yes. garlic shrimp. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do these again, the, the coconut, coconut shrimp, shrimp, of course, right. uh, and the lobster bisque, small. So, oh, yeah, the garlic bread. Yes. Oh, the mussels, that's what I wanted to do, too. Yeah, the fresh mussels, so I'll do small. Want the white wine or the marinara? What would you? What's your recommendation? They're both great. They're both great. Uh, oh, marinara. Yeah. See, the live lobsters available up to ten pounds, people. And then I'm gonna do your your um, uh, what's it called the the seafood uh, pasta thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sound good? All right. 
Thank you. Give us about, about 30 minutes. Sure, man. And you got it. Thanks, buddy. All right. It comes in a box. That's <laughs> so much food. You know it. All right. That's Thank you. It's a cold one. That's a shrimp cocktail. So okay. You want to put it with the hot. That makes sense. Okay. I'll uh, get in my car and I'll start eating. You got it. You Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Shrimp cocktail. He said, be careful. You don't want to put that in with the hot food. We are going to move the car because there's a light standard right over there and uh, we're running out of daylight very, very quickly. Let me just do a quick little adjustment there. Don't want this to fall over. Stay. So we'll just put this car over where that light is. It's kind of hoping that there'd be like a restaurant or a business around here had one of those nice lights coming in from their sign but uh i think this is going to work really nicely that's it see there's a light there it's going to help a lot perfect might even this is this is kind of where i wanted to park tonight like non non-stop stealth camping i don't want to have to move again this would be great i'm just going to take my jacket off so I can eat this in peace. The uh, the bill came to $136.73, and then I gave them a $34.18 tip, which was 25%. Uh, so it came to a grand total of $170.90. Put that right there. Let's see if we can take this jacket off. Do the whole John Candy thing, hook it on the back of the chair, and then hook the other arm and spin out of control as Steve Martin screams as I go skidding off the road. We'll definitely be putting this on very soon. Okay, let's go out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? I also have a little light that if I need it, this is this little uh, Milwaukee light and we might have to it's, it's really bright though, like stupid bright. Um, imagine if we put it right there and it just lit up. Is that like in your face? You gotta put it somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that'll help. Definitely don't want to be doing this in the dark. Got some festive lighting here too. Check this out. Uh, we will go for that one. It's nice and slow. It's Christmas time. Got my festive placemat and matching napkin. I don't know what to eat first. I definitely am going to keep the shrimp off to the side. Uh, I would probably normally have that to the table first. Oh my, he says, he does his own french fries too. I don't think we're gonna be able to do too many close-ups in here because I won't be able to open up all this food. I don't know what to open up first guys. They're all like special little packages. Oh, okay. We got a dozen worms. <laughs> I don't know how he got it in there. Oh, there's my. Cheers, guys. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Garlic bread. Okay, sauces. That right, ketchup. That ketchup. Whipped butter. More butter. Okay, let's open this up. S car go. <laughs> Helps if I spin it around and, and read it. That'll be my lobster bisque. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up. Mm, lick the lid. Lid licking worthiness. Oh, that lobster bisque is to die for. Oh, here there's his French fries. Wanted me to try those. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, MJ, extra stuff. He gave you some extra garlic shrimp on the house. Oh my goodness. For you well, well, thank you very right. much, man. Enjoy it. Appreciate right? it. Take care, have a great night. Oh, uh, thanks. I was going to. Whoa, extra food from Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. We got some special water, so I'm gonna put my, oh no, don't fall, please. Hopefully it fits in my drink holder. It fits in the drink holder. I just don't want my, my garlic bread to fall into the floor. There we go, now it's not gonna fall on the floor. All right, more garlic bread. Makes his own French fries, they look amazing. I love French fries with the peel on. 
Mmm. Good job, Jay. Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna probably save those um, for the, the, hawk, the football game. Unfortunately, I'm trying to download the app. So my phone to Telus is a on the Telus um, service. So, but at home I have Rogers Television. Oh, the shrimp cocktail, of course. And uh, apparently, if you have the app, you can watch television um, on your phone, which is great. It's funny. So I, I couldn't do it at home. I brought it to an actual Rogers dealer. That's why I'm late coming here. I was trying to do this while it was still light out. And, uh, but there's, you can uh, watch, and watch stuff on, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on. Or what it comes down to guys is I won't be able to watch the game on my phone. So I'm gonna get the laptop afterwards and try and, try and figure it out. What's this? Oh, a huge potato. All the fixings. Oh, you hear that crumble? So I'm, again, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I knew this was gonna be chaos. And then this is the coconut shrimps. Um, I'm just gonna have to eat some of the stuff right here. I think I'm gonna do one of my shrimp cocktails, put my lemon all over those sh beautiful shrimp. Seafood sauce. Gotta have your seafood sauce. Oh, look at that nice juicy shrimp. Mm. Definitely want to do two of those before we move on. Mm. Lovely. I love eating like a king. In my minivan camper, I'm gonna need a bigger tray. Okay, I said no knife and fork, I don't need that. I've got my own supply. Let's go in for this escargot. How many people love escargot? Which is uh, basically snails. Mm. The garlic. Oh yeah, there's a, another chunk of lemon in here. Let's squeeze that in there. Get to the bottom of it. No, nope, don't, don't. It's slippery. I'm always getting slippery lemons. There we go. Gotta put your lemon in there. My napkin. All right, let's eat a few more of those for sure. Oh yeah. I'm doing two at a time. Why? Because I want to. Oh yeah. I love when you uh, put it in a dish, you put some butter, garlic, fresh garlic, uh, and then some cheese uh, or maybe mushroom caps on top of that. Par uh, Parmesan cheese or provolone, mozzarella, any one of those. So let us know in the comments below what you would eat first out of all the things that we ordered. Okay, Ascar Go, done. It's just all the little leafy bits that are uh, sitting there. So we'll use this as our garbage for any little things that we need to toss. Lobster bisque. Oh, the chunks of lobster and that creamy, creamy sauce. Oh, there it is. Did you see that all come up at once? Oh, no, don't spill. No spillage allowed. Cheers, guys. Wow. Oh. Maybe I'm going to have to redo that spoonful. Mmm. I think I did this the last time I was here. I've done two other videos here. Please go check them out. I did the lobster Thermidor and the lobster um, Newberg. Two different videos. Please check those out. Mmm. That is beautiful. Way to go, Jay. Let's do some more shrimp cocktail. 
Mmm. Double dip. It's okay to double dip when you're by yourself. Dip away. Dip away, dip away. Mmm. Nice and firm. Tasty. Little shrimp. Mmm. Last one. Okay, what to do next? Um, so the, sh the cocktail shrimp is gone. The escargot is gone. Let's just recap that. Throw it over there for now. Oh yeah, when you eat like a king, you just throw your extras around. Throw your garbage on the floor. Because when you eat like a king in your own minivan. <laughs> oh, here come the coconut shrimp. I've always wanted to like just order order um like all the appetizers on at really expensive restaurants look at those things of beauty hopefully the light is catching it nicely this i should keep my napkin a little bit more handy like that okay so he gave me some it looks like plum sauce it probably is He's got this beautiful coconut shrimp. Check out all the crunchy coconut on the exterior of that shrimp. Oh yeah, let's dip away. I'm not sure if you should do, I guess you should put lemon on it first. Mmm. <laughs> you got a lot of the coconut shrimp, man. lemon all over I'm like hey where'd my napkin go you put it there silly I'm gonna try and go in for a close-up for you on this one all right guys there you go unfortunately my my uh, lights on my neck are giving us that little bit of a blinky police officer approaching kind of look but uh, there you go, all nice and golden brown. There's that plum sauce and uh, more of my coconut shrimp. One of my favorite things here at the Lobster Trap. Mm -hmm. The coconut gives a very nice crunch for sure. Also, Makes it sweet. Almost tastes like there's honey on it. I'm gonna do another spoonful. Oh, there's like a big piece of lobster right on top. It swam up to the top. Uh oh. Mmm. Please give this lobster bisque a try, man. It is fantastic. It's still nice and hot. We got two more trays of food. We've got the marinara mussels, which is what I wanted to try first when I was looking at the menu. I'm like, oh, I need to do this first. Get that done and out of the way. Okay, you don't move. Don't you move. Okay. Hot. Oh my gosh. Really hot. It is a big trough of mussels. I think I should just do like a, a bite of this potato let you know what I think, then we'll dig in into the potato. Some people eat the skin and everything, some people just dig out in the middle. Look at that, I got a little bit of everything on that bite. Whoa! What? <laughs> I should have known better. I'll be able to eat this like in about two hours once the heat's left it. Nice fluffy white potato. And those bacon bits are wonderful. Well, no, I'm so silly. <laughs> Just look, keep looking around. And the last thing he has the seafood pasta. I should have, I should have done the seafood pasta later, or these later for the game. So we're gonna have to maybe go to a, a bar tonight 
I didn't, I, I guess I didn't really say if I was going to, um, let me stay there. Stealth camp here. I guess I can stealth camp anywhere and maybe we'll have to go uh, to a sports bar where there's televisions because he has a television in there, but he's playing uh, the fireplace channel. So what Paul taught me is you rip your uh, muscle apart and then you use the one half of the shell to dig out the muscle from the other half of the shell and then use it as a spoon. Mmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. I don't think I've had mussels ever since Paul's house. That time we did uh, one of the cooking reviews. Again, you can just do that. Use that. I'm going to be so messy at the end of this. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I move some of the shells. There we go. I can start like a garbage pile. Oh, look at this one. So uh, he had options. And he said they're both good, of course. And, uh, oh, oh, don't fall. Don't fall. There you go, buddy. The person beside me, I'm not sure where they came from. One of the businesses nearby. <laughs> said I could see in the car that there's a man in his minivan eating like a king. Ooh, this is a big one. Look at the size of that muscle, people. Ooh la la. Big. Juicy. Tasty. Yeah, this would have been fun to eat during the game, right? Some of these muscles are huge. Oh, yeah. Another huge one. Look at that. It's like little uh, treasures. I'm going to pull this off. There's lots of marinara in this shell. And I'm going to eat everything off this one right here. Mmm, got a slurp. Especially when you're by yourself in a car. Slurp away. Nobody cares. Alright, last muscle. Last muscle. Oh, yeah. I definitely need no more napkins here. When your hands are that dirty, you don't want to use your good napkin. Just get the, get the solids off. And I'm so glad I had that light on me. This would have been a disaster d dark video okay all the all the muscles are done if i can get my lid back i put it right there we'll throw that on there and we'll open up our pasta i i told him i said i'd love to try the 300 dollar lot um or the seafood platter that they have on the menu and but he's like yeah it's it's good enough for like many many people so uh he says it feeds three people perfectly so uh maybe i'll uh, do that with with a with a friend maybe paul mm. and did you see all those chunks of lobster in there yes you did mm. that is not going to go to waste okay potato put you there Bring this back quickly. I'm going crazy, people. Crazy. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Love it. Before I open that, it's still nice and hot. What did Jay give me here? I don't know what that gentleman said. All right, garlic shrimp. Wow. Scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. Unbelievable. Those look incredible. Oh yeah, look at all those spices and stuff on there. Mm. I suggest you eat these first. These are very garlicky. Very savory. Going from the coconut shrimp to this is a little weird to the taste buds. Eating these all by themselves, perfect. Yeah, it needs lemon. I just discovered the lemon here. They are very garlicky. Oh, look at that. Just drizzle it all over. 
Just go nuts. I like my little garbage can there. That came in very handy. Oh, look at look at all that garlic and stuff. Mm-hmm. You gotta pinch your tail. Grab firmly with your teeth. Pinch. Pull. Have so many reserve napkins over there. I'm good to go. Um, I want to open this water that he gave me. Natural spring water. That is definitely better for you than reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis has nothing in it. Spring water, it's great if you're fasting. Oh yeah. Cold and refreshing. Oh yeah, this shrimp is beautiful. Last one. Again, guys, I hope this lighting is fine for you. That's pretty much the only spot I can put the light. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh my gosh, that smells beautiful. All right, this time I turned the light on on my iPhone and we're gonna try and go in if we can. And uh, I might have to actually zoom in as opposed to uh, getting closer to the food. Just like that, look at that. Big lobster claw, lobster legs. We got more mussels over here. We got more shrimp. And there's like a half a lobster tail all on top of some noodles. My oh my, what are we gonna do? I think we're gonna eat it. I just turned on my iPhone light as well. Hmm, if I did it there. Just moving some lights, hang on. There, better lighting. Better lighting. That's what it's all about. Good thing I have more. How many things have I dropped down the side of my chair? But I, that's why you have backup. Backup on top of backup. Let's do that shrimp and that beautiful sauce. Mmm. That sauce is really nice, Jay. I really want to get into that. We just did all the mussels, and now there's even more mussels. Wow. Keep that sauce for later. So he's got mussels all the way around, shrimp all the way around, and then the lobster tail all curled up. Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to eat this? Is it a finger food? It has to be a finger food, right? So he pre-broke broke the uh, claws and stuff so I can get the stuff out of here. I don't have any tools. You know what's funny is I actually looked online to buy lobster tools. Ugh, they're not too expensive, so I should, I should have those in here for these kinds of meals. This is the, uh, what do they call it? The knuckle. There we go. Got it all out. There's a big hole through it. Yeah. That is awesome. The shrimps are fantastic. It's like almost like you kind of want to get through some of these things to make room. Maybe I want to do that. Get the, uh, start pulling apart some of these mussels. Do another one of these beautiful shrimp. Come on, drip. There you go. Mmm. I'm getting full. You think? So good. There we go. Mmm. Yeah, this pasta meal looks like you don't need to eat anything else other than this pasta meal. And I ordered everything, all the appetizers. Oh, there's a hidden muscle. All right, check out the claw. So you can break the claw, and then that part comes out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Then he cracked that for me, which was nice. Let's see if we can pull out that chunk of lobster claw. Oh, here we go. Look at that. 
Oh, the whole claw came out in one big chunk. I, I think this is probably the biggest meal I think I've ever had in this car. Or any other car for that matter. I've eaten lots of food over a course of 24 hours, but not all at the same time. It's almost 5.20 and uh, the game starts at eight. So we got lots of time to mess around with this food. Tail, pull out that meat too. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yes. All the meat came out of that tail in one big, huge chunk. It's still really hot in the bottom here. Let's get up to some of these noodles. Oh, look at that. Nice big clump. Oh, noodle pull. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of noodle and that big huge chunk of lobster right there. Just do it, Ken. Mm. Next up, muscle, noodle. Woo. Definitely eating like a king. Definitely. The shrimp are amazing. Wow. There's so much food. I won't be able to eat a potato. I think I've tackled everything else. I won't be able to eat all that bread. I guess we can twirl on the bottom and that will help keep it on there. Oh, please don't get it on my jersey. Please. Please. So far, so good. More twirlies. I do have a spoon. I guess I could use my spoon. Show you, show you my spaghetti twirling abilities. This is like a 10 napkin meal. Which is good because I have a thousand napkins. Again, when you have, when it's this messy, you don't want to wreck your main napkin. Okay, so let's try this again. A little bit of noodle, spoon, twirly to twirl twirls. There we go, a little bit better. There you go, look at that, beautiful. So out of all the things I ate to, here tonight, let us know in the comments below, what do you think would be your favorite item? It's hard for me to decide. Hmm. I guess the lobster biscuit and then this. I'm just going to eat the whole cloth. Don't want to cut it up. Don't. Hmm. I hear there are two types of people. Claw people, tail people. I'm sure there are a lot of people like me that just love them both. I think I'm gonna have to top out. There's still that much pasta. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. But I'm definitely gonna eat the rest of the mussels and shrimp that are in here oh look at that nice twirl job buddy I, i'm as i'm doing it it's unraveling something here there we go i think i've gotten all the big chunks of meat Woo! that meal was fit for a king ah all right let's do this lobster bisque because i cannot let that go to waste. Mm. Last bite of this meal, fit for a king. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tidy up this mess and then we'll go in the back and set up the stealth camper. First things first, we gotta plug in our GoPro batteries because we need power. There's my little GoPro GoPro battery charging bay and it's USB-C 
There we go, and that should be going. No problemo. All right, I'll put my keys there just for now. That's charging. I'll plug in my. Um, we'll plug in that light. Plug my phone in. Once you plug in the LEDs, they they go to a a disco setting or something. So you got to plug it in. And then quickly hit the W button for white. And then that's fine. Now we can set up our stealth camp. There are people in a car near me. And I'm, I bet they're wondering what in the hell am I doing? Got my minus nine sleeping bag, which we are definitely going to be needing. I also have my uh, heater in here, a little propane heater, which will crack a window before we use it. So we'll plug this into the USB C. And that will start charging my phone. That's the 1000 watt uh, Jackery, my new one. I'm just gonna put my sleeping bag up there for now. Just keep it out of the way. And we'll plug in my phone. Or sorry, yeah, my watch for later. When I go to bed, I'll throw that on there. So that's all good to go. And uh, yeah, let's just get these stealth camp windows up. My next job is to fix these so they're a little bit more presentable, a little bit more tight to the window. stealth camped out I'll put my big one up here later on my hands are starting to get cold so I'm gonna try a couple more times on the phone to see if I can get my uh, ignite TV to work on my phone if it doesn't work then uh, we're probably gonna have to go somewhere where there's a TV and then that's where we'll stealth camp tonight um, I even thought about like driving the van up to like a bar and if you could as long as you could see it But then you won't be able to hear it. So that would kind of suck so I think we should uh, Look up to see what's closest to here and uh, Then we'll make a decision on that. Well, I couldn't get the ignite TV to work So uh, I'm going to I just realized how close I am to the tickle toad uh, we're gonna watch the game at the tickle toad and uh, then we will do our stealth camp at the Tickle Toad. Where else are we going to go? All right, and it's right now it's like 8 degrees Celsius in here. and uh, But it's like minus something outside. Anyway, let's go to the Tickle Toad and watch the game. All right. Made it to the Tickle Toad, and they got Chekvar on tap. Almost game time. Paul made it too. Who's gonna win? What? Bill? Well, the Leafs are losing badly right now. The Bills are almost gonna start, but the Bills are gonna win. They gotta win. And the game starts. Way to go, Bills! Touchdown! Yeah! Touchdown number two. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. For the Tickle Toad, I guess this will be our 30th uh, customer appreciation slash Christmas party. I'd like to raise a toast to everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Cheers. Merry Christmas. To our wonderful staff that have been here a long time. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers to Paul and Sonia. Touchdown number three. 29 29. It's getting crazy. 50 seconds left. It is such a close game. Oh my God.
Sean, we won, dude. All right, awesome. Well, the Bills won. I'm extremely happy, but right now I'm gonna get all my stuff together, go to bed. We'll wake up in the morning. Paul's coming in early, but he's gonna be in around eight o'clock. So it looks like I'll be staying here for coffee and maybe a little breakfast. Stay tuned. Good night. Great sleep last night. Oh yeah. Not too noisy. Pretty much not noisy at all. I think I uh, woke up once in the night. Couldn't believe how quiet it was here. Mm. Let's get this stealth camper put away. It didn't snow or anything, which I'm glad about. Eight oh four. Sunday, December 18th. There's a big uh, soccer game or football game today. So Paul's coming in early to uh, set up the restaurant because they, the game is early. And a lot of uh, regulars wanted to come in and watch the game at the Tickle Toad. It is one and a half degrees uh, inside. I asked Siri earlier, and it's uh, minus four outside with a wind chill of minus eight. So it's cold outside. We'll leave that there so we don't break it. Let's go inside and have a coffee with Cup Paul and then we'll call it a day. Fresh air, home of the Tickle Toad. <laughs> Got the Bills hat. Go Bills. Hey, Pop. <laughs> oh boy, good job, buddy. Uh, scared Paul <laughs> you missed the oh dude the game was amazing won by like two points <laughs> won by like two points we were losing for a bit and then and then they uh, got a touchdown and then a field goal this is a cool What's coffee that? machine what do you want in it? nothing Just black? straight up how easy this is I love this thing done instant hot coffee 24 hours a day, seven oh, days a week. Smell. smell that, people. Yummy. All right, buddy. Thanks for the coffee. All right. Thank you. See you later. Oh, yeah. Have a good day. Well, that was fun. Eating like a king yesterday. Watching the, uh, the football game. Very exciting. Thank you very much, Miami Dolphins, for giving us such an amazing exciting game you guys made us made us fight hard for that win so i had to get home right now edit this all up package it up get it ready to go out maybe tuesday and then i'm gonna do uh something special for christmas for you guys all right thanks for hanging out with me uh once again thanks for everybody for watching commenting liking the videos you guys are amazing you guys keep this channel chugging along and i also want to thank all my channel members for your monthly support and my supporters over on patreon you guys rock if you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're still hungry for more check out that playlist i put down over there and we'll see you over there bring your hunger